Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got some big news from one of the most popular companies ever featured on my channel. I've been saying for a while now there are a bunch of new options hitting the prefab home space, but sometimes it seems like everything is stuck in the concept phase. It's a seemingly endless supply of new company announcements with rendering so good they almost look real combined with an aggressive timeline on when customers can actually get their mitts on one of these things. What I've noticed is the time between announcement and production tends to be a little a lot longer than originally projected because there is more to this industry than most people think. However, we have finally reached a point in time where companies that were announced what seems like ages ago have ironed out all the kinks and are starting to build. The company I'm talking about is called My Cabin, and let me tell you, there is a lot to update. What I'm going to do is tell you what caused their delays, when you can get one, and how much it's going to cost you. I posted the first video about my cabin on April 17th, 2022, and at that time production was set to start early this summer. Summer is now over and no homes. If you haven't heard of my cabin, they're a company that originated in Europe but recently expanded into the US to bring their Scandinavian designs to North America. They say my cabin provides a simple but elegant Scandinavian design, and while small, it is not cramped. Our width and ceiling height provides the feel of an actual home compared to a tiny home or RV designated unit. They've got an interesting business model that's different than the typical modular home offering. What they've got is three separate units that can be mixed and matched to get the square footage and amenities that you're looking for in a home. So you can buy one or the entire set depending on what you want and what you need. They're located north of Chicago, which is great news for all the people who always ask for cool offsite constructed home options outside of California, which is a a lot of people I get that comment quite often a lot has changed at my cabin between April 17th and now so let's get into the latest news and what it means for people interested in these homes there's a trend I've been noticing with new home concepts that are making the jump from idea to a home that can actually be purchased what usually happens is a company will announce the idea for their homes along with a timeline on when they'll be available and a tentative price to get one what I've noticed is the time between announcing and production is longer than expected sometimes a lot longer. I think we need to cut these companies a little bit of slack here because I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of good ideas that never make it past an idea because I get distracted watching reruns of Everybody Loves Raymond. I can't be the only one. Here's the thing, they have to set some kind of date of when they'll be building because one, it gives them a target to shoot for, and B, it gives people an idea on when they might be able to get one. If you're looking to buy from a new company at this point, I think it would be wise to look at the projected time they're gonna start building as a very loose estimate, and don't be surprised if it changes because there is a lot involved in getting one of these companies up and running. For example, Mike Kevin gave me a glimpse into what they've been up to the last six months, and let me tell you, They've been busy. They said, obviously, we hope to launch early summer, but we learned a ton in starting our manufacturing. We thought it would be a simple process of taking plans for units in Europe and building here, but it was a huge process. We had to work with engineers on retrofitting the units to get close to a 50 state approved product that meant building codes had max insulation levels and high wind load resistance. It's not as simple as leasing a space and just starting to pump these things out. They have to get approvals, source materials, hire people, and on and on and on and on. All things considered, Consider the slight delay in production from my cabin isn't much at all compared to some of the others in the space. I think it's due to the fact that they have experience doing this in Europe and just had to revamp their product for US standards and now they're officially building folks. As we speak, the first units are under construction at my cabin will be finished in October and shipping in November. In their current facility, they'll start out with production of six units per month with the ability to ramp up to 10 to 12 per month when needed. With the changes recently implemented, they believe they have the most structurally sound unit on the market at this price point with all high-end materials. Changes had to be made to the units for the US market, so let's check them out and see what they've got for us now. The first unit is called the CalMass and is designed to be an accessory bedroom, office, dining room, or pretty much anything else you can think of. The space is 12 feet wide by 15 and a half feet long for a total footprint of 185 square feet. The description says, feel at peace in your own safe haven, regain the strength to delve into new projects or make room for your guests. Design your environment the way you've always wanted it to be. The price of all units includes preparation of architectural plans for permitting and a fully outfitted unit completely built and finished in their US factory ready to be installed in one day. The exterior is finished with rot resistant thermally modified wood and a metal roof with full water resistant sheathing. For insulation it comes standard with R24 in the walls 
R38 in the floor, and R49 in the roof. If you want more, it is possible for an added cost, or you can do less for a lower cost, but this is what you're getting standard if no changes are made. As far as the floor plan goes, not really too much to say about this one, because as an accessory to the main home, it's really just a room. I could try to church it up, but at the end of the day, it's just a room, so let's check out the main home. The main living space offered in the set is called the Milla. The Milla is 12 by 22 and a half feet for a total footprint of 270 square feet on the main floor and 87 square feet in the loft. The description says a living space that simplifies your life and allows you to disconnect and recharge. The Milla unit checks all the boxes with a kitchen, full bathroom, and a comfortable sleeping area full of light and ample space. I normally lean towards preferring a modern look when it comes to small footprint prefab homes, but I do really like the Scandinavian feel of the Milla. Yes, I understand the irony saying that in a log cabin. I think this home will appeal to a lot of people, especially those who always comment on the channel asking for options with a peaked roof. Inside the home, the main floor is laid out with the living space that is open to the kitchen and a full bathroom on the main floor. The kitchen is complete with European style frameless cabinets, an induction cooktop, space for a fridge and a 20 inch single bowl sink with a pull down faucet. The bathroom has a glass wall walk-in shower, a granite vanity top with cabinet and porcelain sink, frameless LED mirror, and a ream tankless water heater. Above the main floor is an 87 square foot loft that could be used for sleeping or storage depending on how you want to set it up. I know there are people who don't love the idea of sleeping in a loft due to the fact that stairs or a ladder would have to be climbed or descended mainly in the night, but the main floor space could also be set up in a studio configuration. All you'd really have to do is set up the living space with a hide -a bed then you can utilize the loft for something completely different. I slept in my own living room last night. It's kind of fun. All of these units definitely have a cottage look to them that I think people will be excited about and there are a bunch of different uses for homes in this size range that'll work with these designs. The most popular uses that I see people commenting that they're looking for are backyard homes for family members, something that can be set up as a short-term rental or a second residence for a vacation home. It seems to me that my cabin realizes that people will be buying these for vacation homes or rentals because the third unit is a good complement to the first two. The Galea is a sauna that can be purchased to complete the trio and cap off the Scandinavian vibe that can be seen throughout all of these homes. What I like about my cabin is you have options. You can get the Milla by itself, you can get the Milla with two cow mass, or you can get the full set. It just depends what you want and what you need. Since the last video, they have adjusted pricing because of the changes made to make sure these homes meet and exceed standards. Before I get into pricing, it should be noted that right now until November, they're running specials on their homes that could see discounts up to 5%. Their current pricing is as follows. 37,000 500 for the Galea, 46,000 for the Calmas, and 81,000 for the Mila. Could be Mila, could be Mila. Pronunciation is always questionable on this channel. My Cabin is one of the first companies featured in concept phase to start production and are very close to shipping homes. They have a unique model that allows buyers to mix and match units to get the space they require for whatever they're trying to accomplish. If all goes according to plan, finished units will be coming out of their factory as early as October and when that happens, I'll check in again and post an update right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.